We acknowledge the land on which we gather to exchange ideas and share our past, present, and future is the traditional territory of the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat. Hello everyone, my name is Peggy Hawes. I'm the Interpretation and Public Program Coordinator for the Brockville Museum, and I'd like to introduce you to our newest exhibit, Travel Trunk. Our Travel Trunk exhibit looks at different waves of immigration over the years to Brockville, whether it be very recently, such as the Syrian immigration that has come, or something hundreds of years old, such as the Loyalists coming in the late 1700s. My name is Jacqueline Shoemaker Holmes. I'm the Chair of Refugees for Brockville. The importance of this Travel Trunk exhibition at the Brockville Museum cannot be overstated. Um, the way that it captures the diversity throughout the history of Brockville really reminds us and extends into the future, the present and the future in a way that is really incredibly important. Part of the importance of this exhibit for Brockville is to uh, counteract the narrative that Brockville is not diverse. That's, that's really problematic. You know, small towns, small cities get away with saying things like, we're just not diverse here. But the reality is that we are and always have been. Hi, my name is Bushra Kadra. Um, I'm from Brockville, Ontario. I have been here my whole life. I'm a first generation Canadian. My parents immigrated here from Syria. Um, and I'm currently studying nursing at the University of Ottawa in my first year. Something that is really interesting about the Brockville Museum is this traveling trunks exhibit. Uh, it was amazing to see it for the first time because I thought I knew everything about the diversity in Brockville, um, but I still had a lot to learn from the exhibit here. Something that was really cool for me to see were my father's keys um, from our house in Damascus. Um, they're on loan from my family to the Brockville Museum for this exhibit. Um, it kind of put a big timeline on how long immigration takes in Canada and also the impact it has on the surrounding community. Um, I don't know what my life would have been like if I didn't live in Canada if my parents hadn't chosen to immigrate here. Um, even though they only immigrated here 20 years ago, this is our home and this place does feel like our home.